everyone welcome back to my channel my name is rosemary this is rosemary you rock art if you are returning thank you thank you thank you i truly appreciate it if you're checking this out for the first time i hope you stick around please consider hitting that subscribe button like comment share and hit that bell so you're notified anytime i upload a new video i have a large dollar tree haul so i'm just going to jump right into it picked up two bags of the david sunflower seeds for my husband Picked up another bottle of this Jergens hand wash. I prefer this over the Dermacell hand wash. Not that there's anything wrong with the Dermacell, but I think that the Jergens leaves your hands a little bit softer, smells better in my opinion, and I just prefer the Jergens hand wash. So I got another bottle of that. Picked up another container of the LA Totally Awesome Oxygen Cleaner. I add this to uh, my loads of laundry and um, I thought, well, I'll just stock up on that. I found these plant uh, dishes. You put your plant on here to protect your counters or your coffee tables or whatever. So I needed a couple of those. I picked up two, three boxes. And let me kind of show you how these are configured. So they're just boxes. I needed them for friend mail. So I picked up three of those. All right, let's see where I'm going because I've got a lots to show you. Uh, picked up two more tubes of this sensitive toothpaste uh, way way before I discovered the sensitive uh, toothpaste at Dollar Tree. Uh, I used to use the Sensodyne and boy is that pricey. So I uh, really appreciate that they have this at Dollar Tree. This has more of a cinnamon flavor and the Sensodyne is more of a minty flavor. I'm not usually too crazy about cinnamon flavor stuff, but this is just fine. Uh, and for a dollar, yes, please. All right, let me move into some crafty items. Uh, over the weekend, my husband and I went to a Dollar Tree and I found yarn. And it's the Just Yarn and it's the Variegated. Okay, so there's one, there's two, Aren't they gorgeous? And three. And I did pick up a fourth. And I shared with you uh, yesterday on, on Mishmash Monday. Yeah, that's a new segment. Uh, that I had made seven tassels out of one skein of yarn. And it was a different color. So if you want to see the color of that other, the fourth one, um, you know, go check out Mishmash Monday. Yep. All right. Uh, let's see. In the crafty section, Crafter Square, my husband picked up this embossing tool. He thought that he, this would help him clean little detailed areas. So he thought he's going to use this as a cleaning tool. So he's going to check that out and see how that works. Spotted some more wood words. You get three words. This one says memory. And I picked up a couple packages of those. My husband spotted this glitter glue and he goes, I don't think you have this color. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I really don't. It is gorgeous copper. Look how beautiful that is. And it is crafter square. Yep. All right. I was watching my dear friend Patty over at Life with Patty. And uh, she says that she would, she got this idea uh, I'm not sure from who because I, I can't remember who she mentioned, but you get puzzle pieces and in the craft you put uh, love you to pieces. And so that's why I bought puzzle pieces. So I wasn't too concerned about what puzzles this was, but I just wanted the puzzle pieces and you paint them uh, white and red or whatever colors you want, which I'm going to do white, red and pink. So I got this puzzle for that purpose, and then I also got this puzzle for that same uh, project, and these are bigger pieces, and I thought, well, I could use a larger canvas for that project. So stay tuned. I may feature that on a workshop Wednesday or, you know, on Mishmash Monday, which, you know, Mishmash Monday is whatever I want to share. Okay. Also in the Crafter Square section, I bought two more wood pieces, this oval, and it's just unfinished wood. Also got this shape for other projects, so I love working with wood. 
in the stationery section, I found these note cards. You get eight note cards with eight envelopes. I love these for friend mail. For just a quick little note, you can embellish the cover. So I picked up two of those. Let's see. All right. I found these jars. Last week I hauled the jars that had the uh, diamond shape. These have the straight, if you could see that pattern on there, it's just straight. I love to uh, store different crafty items in here in glass so I can somewhat see what's in there. So I picked up two of those. All right. Moving on. Uh, okay, I found this DVD. I was looking for a specific DVD. I was looking for the one that says Diana, and it's uh, about Princess Diana. And um, have not found it yet, but I'm still searching. But I did find this. Now, I am a fan of the royal family, specifically Princess Diana and her children. So, uh, yeah, I was happy to find that. I'm excited to watch that. All right, in the books... I found an incredible book. It is a kind of a coffee table book. It is huge. Oh, I should have looked up the uh, price, but I did not. I'm going to show you the back of it. Maybe the price is on there. It is a huge hardbound book on Tony Bennett. So if you're a fan of Tony Bennett, this is an incredible find. So I'm going to kind of flip through it. And that's mainly what it is, is glossy photos. Way cool. Way cool. So I may um, gift this to someone or offer it in a um, giveaway. You, you never know. So always stay tuned to my channel. All right, let me move things around because I am on a roll valentine day stuff i want to show you what i picked up that way let me bring all the valentine items closer to me all right oh one more thing excuse me excuse me all right sorry about that okay this was not in the valentine's uh, area but it is a heart it this this was in the crafter square section with all the wood uh, things all the unfinished wood so it's a heart now the valentine section also has a uh, heart shape unfinished wood heart shape but it's bigger and the ones that they had today they were kind of warped and split so i thought well i wasn't going to get it but then i saw this in the crafter square section so i picked that up for a future project all right valentine i picked up two packages of these containers they're screw-on-top containers. They have words on them. I'm going to show you the one I opened because so, so, I did buy two of them. This one says baked with love, I think. I think. And see, it has the screw-on-top. I thought this is perfect for uh, beads or whatever uh, crafty uh, item you want to store in there. Really cute. Or, you know, you just give a treat out and that would be cute. Here's the second one. Hope you can <laughs> read fast. <laughs> oh, there it is. I think that's correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. And here is the next one. Uh, cute. Now, I'm thinking if by chance I, I don't gift these or anything like that, I could also paint these red white and blue to match my craft room but i thought the size was great so i picked up two of those two packages of those now i was uh wanting to find a bunch of these felt roses i guess they're felt this is the only pack i've ever seen around town you get six of these roses and i know that uh other people have hauled maybe red ones Maybe white, I'm not sure, but hey, I'm happy with this. Picked up these um, hearts that you can put together, and let's see what they kind of say. They are craft kits, crafty kits. You get 10. So the girls that we have activity days with or activity, 
uh, with at church. They're nine and ten. They're going to be making Valentine cards next week, which is a week from tomorrow on Wednesday night. And I am supplying all the goodies they're going to need to make cards. So all the card bases, stickers, uh, rubber stamps so they can stamp Happy Valentine Day if they want. And I thought this would be fun to include. All right. I think that, nope, that is not all the Valentine Day things. I found some towels. And I thought these were super, super duper cute. I got this first one for my BFF Camille. She loves the bicycle uh, image. And so I got that one for her. Then I bought three of these. Uh, one for my dear friend Janet, which I already put in a gift for her. One for my dear friend Gail over at Gail Patricia Dollar Tree Halls and more because I have a package kind of accumulating for her. And one for the gnome giveaway. Yes. So stay tuned for that. I will be announcing that pretty soon. All right. Let's see. All right. I am going to reach down because I have a package on the ground. And... One more item. Okay. Easter. I found this iridescent tree. I didn't find it at Christmas, si Christmas time, so I found it now, and I thought I'm going to grab it. I may not use it until Christmas, because right now I am decorating my um, fiber optic tree with all the little decorations throughout, the year, throughout this year. So I already put a uh, little heart shape ornaments on my fiber optic tree and I will stick a picture at the end of this video so you guys can see that then I'm hoping to find little shamrocks and I already found little Easter eggs so as the holidays approach I will be adding that to this fiber optic tree so it, it's gonna be cute also in the Easter section I bought six packages of these peeps I am NOT a fan of marshmallow no, thank you. When I was a kid and my parents would occasionally buy cereal and occasionally they would buy Lucky Charms, I would pick out, <laughs> I'd pick out the marshmallows. Anyway, I bought six of these peeps for the girls in the activity group that uh, we have at church. And along with that, I found the peeps oh isn't that cute so this is not my idea this i got this idea from my dear friend theoni over at thrifty divas this is what she's going to do include a package of peeps with the little peep and then just wrap it with cellophane add a bow this is what my girls for activities are going to be getting. I have six girls, so I got six of these, and I got seven of these because I'm not sure if I'm going to be offering uh, one in a Easter giveaway or hanging on to it. So I thought that was so cute. And as I'm going to get the uh, peeps, the marshmallow peeps, my husband goes, for Easter already? I'm like, yes, when you see it at Dollar Tree, you need to snack that up. Snag that up. Yeah. Pick it up. Whatever you want to do with it. <laughs> but you got to act fast. All right. Last Saturday during my Dollar Tree haul, I shared with you that I had found a bunch of stickers. I mean a bunch. Well... I found a bunch more and they are all new to me so let me just run right through them okay I have something in my eye okay I found these gem stickers look how gorgeous those are it's pretty blue I bought three packages of those bought three packages of these gorgeous pink all right let's run through the stickers bought these puppy dog stickers now these are all raised stickers and I came home and I'm like I think that looks familiar and it does but I will send this in friend mail to a dear friend that I know loves puppy dogs so I got that one okay these are new just gonna run through them as I'm home looking through these really a little closer I'm like oh 
I should have bought two of these. Albuquerque is the international hot air balloon capital of the world. I should have bought two. I'll keep an eye out for another pack. I love this. I love that park bench. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? I love that. These kind of look antique to me. Here's some instruments. More instruments. Oh my gosh. Yes, the possibilities. These are so fun. I'm like, oh my gosh, more stickers. Makes this girl happy. Look how gorgeous these are. Okay. I think those are kind of all similar. All right. Let me, oh, they're all sliding all over the place. There we go. Uh, found some more flower stickers. And when I got home, I discovered that I already had bought two of these. But at the store, they didn't look this color, but I compared them to what I have, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I will be sharing this, these in friend mail. These were new to me. Look how gorgeous those are. These are all pop-up stickers. These are gorgeous seashells. Bought two of those. And the others I bought two of. I don't know if I said that. Okay. All right. Got two of these. One will be going to my dear friend Gail over at Gail Patricia Dollar Tree Halls and more. Surprise, Gail. <laughs> she has uh, a love for dragonflies that is very meaningful. So um, I thought I'd pick those up for her. Got this one. All right. These are all similar as well. I found these on a strip clip. So always look at your strip clips down each aisle. These weren't even in the crafter square section or aisle. These were just on a clip strip and I wish I'd have found more. These are gorgeous. They have more of a metallic look to them. So I found just one of those. I did find two of these. How gorgeous those are, two of those. I know uh, because I've seen other people haul them, I know that there are other colors. So I'll keep an eye out for that. All right, I think this is my last item. All right, sorry for that tiny interruption. Someone was at my door. Okay, last item. Uh, Saturday when I did my Dollar Tree haul, I told you guys that um, I had found clear stamps at Dollar Tree and I was like, that blows my mind. Uh, clear stamps, a set of clear stamps for a dollar. That is just craziness. Well, I found two more sets and uh, I can't believe it. So I, I have found six different packages of clear stamps. Here is uh, another. You get nine pieces in this one. How crazy is this? You get 12 pieces in this one. Aren't those beautiful? I just am blown away that Dollar Tree has clear stamps. Wow. Okay, that is my Dollar Tree haul. Um, and it was quite a bit. So thanks for hanging out with me and hanging in there with me. I have two more items to share with you. Uh, my best friend took me to my eye appointment yesterday and when we got done she wanted to stop off at Dollar Tree to find a couple of containers that she was looking for from the dollar spot. She found them and I thought this was a, a good container. You get two of these for a dollar. And what I, I'm already using one of mine. I'm putting my essential oils on the counter and uh, I thought that would be more secure than just having them on the counter and I didn't want to drop, uh, you know, have them fall off the edge. So I thought that would be a perfect size. And this one, I'll find another purpose for that. So I got that. Then I thought this was super cute. 
and I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it's a little tiered little tray. It's cute, and it's perfect color for my red, white, and blue craft room. So I thought I'd pick it up. Not sure exactly what I'm going to display on it, but super cute. Oh my gosh. All right. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me for just a bit. I hope you enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul. Uh, I had fun. Uh, now the chore to put it all away. <laughs> I will be back tomorrow with Workshop Wednesday. Not quite sure what project I'm working on because I have several things in mind, but I hope you join me for that tomorrow. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock.